Cheers and welcome my friends, I'm Horatak and we are playing Stellaris on insane difficulty as the zombie fallen empire with the newest DLC, Leviathans, welcome back. A um, couple of things before we before we go into the thick of things. Um, one of you guys um, by the name of Joe No um, has been commenting for a while and for some reason I can't answer to your comments. So. I see your comments, but uh, for some reason YouTube doesn't let me answer them. I'm I'm very sorry about that. So we're gonna communicate in some other form or fashion. You can follow me on Twitter or <laughs> send me an email if you want. But um, yeah, YouTube comment section isn't doing it doing it for us too. And then Chris has asked me um, to go over my strategic goals. Um, and my, my strategic goals are rather simple. So first I want to take out the Ixidar over here. Um, they have to completely join our empire. I want to eat the Imari up to here. I don't want to have them alive because um, they might always pull the Thracon and their whole federation into um, a war against me. And uh, the Chim Council might actually join this federation at some point or other. Uh, they already do have associated um, status with the Sraken Autocracy and Imari Confederation. So that's not good. That's not something that I want. Um, so yeah, eat these guys, eat these guys. I want the Mesh Men. I think I might just feed them to the Mesh Men to Technocracy. Um, they are now a vassal of the Srakons, so they definitely have to be taken out. Maybe I'm gonna feed um, the planets of the United Sintomoroi states to the um, to my mesh band allies as well, or my mesh band vassals. So that's kind of kind of fine. Um, they do trust us very much, so that's pretty nice. Um, and they will have a hard time to become as powerful as we are, even if they um, get a lot bigger. So. That's definitely a thing. And then what I want to do once our fleet power reaches 160,000. I think we've been scouting these guys at some point. They have 160,000 fleet power in there. And uh, I want to take them over. They have four um, ringworld sections in the Beacon of Infinity. And one still existing ringworld section in the Beacon of Stability. Over here in the Eternal Bastion. So that's what I want to do. I want to basically take these over and then we'll be a huge empire. I think pretty much bigger than anyone else in the galaxy. I might want to become friends with the centralized Larvas colonies. It's going to be very difficult um, to do that. Uh, we're trading with them like crazy and our trust is indeed going up. So that's something. They don't like us very much because we annexed a lot of primitives. Uh, we have a purge policy that they that they don't like. Other than that, mm, yeah, they're okay. I am hoping that they will become receptive of, at some point. So I can at least go for the non-aggression pact. Um, it's mainly the base. Uh, the relative power of empires. Yeah, all right then. We're getting there. We're getting there with our fleet power. So... Things are not too bad right now, and we had the Unbidden arrive at the end of the last episode. This is a new recording session, um, so I have to get uh, sort of back into into things. But I thought the um, the Unbidden arrived in the Feynov system over here. Um, not sure what's what's happening. It might be a good thing for our galaxy that they arrived inside the lands of the Chim Council, because the Chim Council is pretty powerful. They have a bigger fleet than we do. Which means they must have more than 65k. Um, guessing they have about 100,000. Uh, the naval capacity is equivalent. So they have uh, the same 631, I guess. Um, that's pretty good for the galaxy. If they had spawned in one of the weaker states, maybe over here in the periphery. Maybe not here in the in the remnant, in the fallen empire. But maybe maybe in this empire. Um, that would have been pretty bad, because these guys are super inferior and pathetic, and then the Unbidden would be able to spread very fast. I have a, sort of a hope that the Chim Council will be able to fight these guys down, so that might be a thing. Um, but yeah, let's just let's just unpause. We're gonna... Oh yeah, and the other strategic goal is, is um, of course, terraforming as many worlds as I can to be Alpine worlds. Um... We're already doing it with this one, so first I'm going to terraform all the, the uh, worlds that uh, do have the same, uh, or in, in the same level of aridity or temperature as ours. And 
And then we're gonna go for the other ones. So we've got a desert world over here. We've got a bunch of planets that we haven't colonized yet. And I intend to make uh, full use of them. Good use of them. Um, we had a bunch of uh, border openings. So that might actually provide me with the chance to send the tendril spreaders over here. And do some damage against the Mangeti. Yep, it does work. Okay, that's nice. And uh, once we send our fleet out, we are in the in the hole again in terms of energy credits. That's not great. Maractus Prime definitely want to upgrade that building. Um, is this really? Yeah, it is. Okay, I just have not been paying attention to this, I guess. I mean, that's not great, but it can happen. Um, do we want you on here? No, we want you on here. We want to make this another energy producing planet. So, power plant. Um, and another power plant. We do want to upgrade this, the Frontier Clinic. That's going to be good. Um, I don't have any basic happiness building, which is kind of shit. Uh, that's, that's a real problem for me. Um... I mean, we could go for the Xeno Zoo, but we need alien pets, so that's not going to happen. Um, normally, you get at least something that improves your happiness, but we have uh, nothing, so that's kind of a, a shame. Um, right, so how is, how is the food situation over here? We have 14, and we produce 16 already, so we're way above what we need, so that's good, that's good. Splitting the atom. Physicists from the alien civilization on Magrati have managed to split the atom for the first time. With the discovery of nuclear fission, the first nuclear weapons are inevitable being produced, and nuclear power plants are coming online. The Zadrian civilization has entered the critical phase where they suddenly possess the means to destroy their own world with the press of a button. Where's that significant development in Magrani? Oh, in the agenda system. Hmm. Okay. Atomic Age. Let's hope they don't kill themselves. But uh, if they do, we might just have to salvage their tomb world. <laughs> that's how it goes. Um, yeah, we're still building, we're still building battleships, so that's fine. Um, Sprout has finished its surface queue. That's that's interesting. Let's have a look at the at the surface. I know it's um, a little bit tedious having to build all these things up, but on the other hand, it's kind of necessary to kickstart these planets. I have to do it because the AI will never do it. <laughs> That's just how it goes. Um, yeah, we've got a bunch of people though. Um, collectivist, fanatic materialist. Oh yeah. So these guys, these guys are actually already part of our own ethics. Collectivist, collectivist. Yeah, they all follow our our ethics around here. Now, why are they still pissed? Stellar culture shock, offensive war, leadership, primary species only. Yeah, okay, I get that. 35, 45, we... I, I don't think the collective consciousness actually cares um, about who's in charge. I'm not sure if that is really, if that is really a thing. It's already construction project queued. Okay, so we're gonna get rid of all the tile blockers, and then we'll then we'll see how it goes. We're producing a lot of food on the planet, so that's pretty good. Um, let's have a look at Vitalis. Um, what are you doing on the surface? Yeah, you still have a bunch of projects. You're upgrading all your old buildings, I guess, to something more useful. So that's all fine and dandy then. Um, tell the crew, bless. Order has declared United Bokeh Planet States their rival. So these guys have made these guys their rival. That's pretty good. I like it. Why not? Uh, we can sort of see who is going to be a problem and who isn't. Our fleet is moving very slowly in the direction of the Minjeti. Uh, but we finally have the jump drive. So that's pretty good. Oh, I know. Scientist died. <laughs> Just as I say that. We should have looked at him. Right, so we need a good scientist. You're busy commanding. You're pretty good, though. Mm, we got you. Research speed 5%. And we got you. 
It might be interesting to have a materials guy in charge of the physics. Or can I just recruit someone? I do have a new and free slot now. Survey speed. We should actually go and sort of automatically survey stuff now that all the borders are open. Mm, I'm not sure. Well, I will have to recruit someone eventually. Who's the youngest? You're the youngest by a fair bit. I'm going to recruit you. And I think we're just going to put this guy in charge. Well, maybe not. Maybe not. We want to move through the physics tech as fast as possible. Yeah, I think we're going to take the materials guy. Why not? So you're in charge now. Chop, chop. I wish we could have gotten someone with field manipulation. Um, but they seem to be far and few between. Which is kind of uh, kind of shitty. I mean, I could just kick a couple of guys out. Waste a little bit of influence to do this. Um, we might want to hold on to our influence though. We still have some frontier outposts. And suppressed factions and all that. So, yeah. Hmm. Oh yeah, I have a science ship that is not doing anything. Yeah, you. So we're gonna give give you to that ship. That's all fine and dandy then. And let's get on with it. We're paying pretty dearly um, for sending our fleet over there. Maybe I should have just sent half the fleet. We don't really need that. Combined of Sooth Castle has entered a defensive pact. Telecoup Blessed Order has into a defensive pack with Caloctora into Stellar Council. That's not good. Um, these guys really don't like me. Mainly because we close our borders and because they are evangelizing zealots. So they have 28 planets and 360, uh, 370 population. They're pretty big. They're pretty big. Um, how big are we? Come on. I can see that somewhere. Budget, demographics. We have 226 pops across 27 worlds. So they have 100 population more than we do. That's significant. That's... Oh, and the centralized larvas colonies has entered into a non-aggression pact with the Telco Blessed Order. Um, maybe we could get something going as well. No? 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 All right, then. I mean, there's nothing else that I can do to suck up to the, suck up to these guys. Uh, there really isn't. Um, and in terms of planets, I mean, Maractus Prime isn't the most interesting place there is. So, I could just um, plop down all the buildings that I want to see, and then give the planet to a sector, and just get on with the. With the whole colonization thing. It might not be a bad idea actually. Um, so we're definitely gonna go for the for the research on these. Go for the research on these. And then we're gonna build a um, a power hub. Where's, Construction complete. Where's the power hub? Can't I build a power hub? No, requires planetary administration, so we have to wait for a little bit. Uh, but I'm going to I can queue up the basic power plants on here and on here. That's good. I mean, I can always I can always exchange um, minerals that I have for energy credits, complete. and that's pretty nice. Uh, I want to trade for energy credits, but the exchange rate is rather shitty, so I'm not sure I should do that too often. But it would at least allow me to uh, continue terraforming places. We do have the desert worlds. These are going to be very expensive. We've got an ocean world over here. Ocean world, tropical world, continental world. I think I should go after the bigger ones now. That is an alpine world with a size 23. That's pretty nice. Um, we got a continental world with a size 10 in there. That, that's not something that we can go after right now, but we'll be, we will be. Um, these have already been terraformed. Now what I'm gonna do is, oh yeah, right, I can't terraform the the tomb worlds yet. I think uh, it might not be a thing. It might just be better to to research the tomb world colonization. Precursor discovery. Several recruits from our grand forces recently made a halo insertion 
onto the surface of Bennett, Bennett Nash 3 as part of a survival training exercise. When the recruits were picked up again after two months, one of them reported several findings indicating that an ancient precursor civilization had a presence on this world long ago. Where's that one? Okay. Right. Why not? Why not? Um, are our construction ships actually doing something? It looks like you're not doing anything anymore. Well, the construction ship is over there. No, the payer system has not been surveyed. That's interesting. Guess I forgot about that. So let's send you and survey the system. One thing that I don't understand is um, one of you guys sent me a link to the to the Ether Drake um, to the Ether Drake event chain, and there it said that we might be able to hatch our own Ether Drake from stuff on this planet and all that. Uh, there were two basically event chains going from there. We got neither, which is a bit of a shame. Ketonian planet. This planet was once a gas giant, but its proximity to its star has burned away the thick atmosphere. All that remains now is a super dense and mineral rich metallic core. Well, maybe it's just, maybe it's just gonna tick at a random interval. I mean, I'm not gonna complain about the the income that it gives me, but still. Oh, the Exeter have given up. They've just given up. We admit defeat, but do not think this is anything more than a temporary setback for the species Z Exeter conflict. Yeah, I actually do think that this is the end of the species Z Exeter conflict. The best possible outcome. You don't even have a home. <laughs> I guess he's sending this from exile. Okay, nice. Very good. Very good. So we're gonna send the tender spreaders back to Jewel. Because they no longer need it. Send them to the energy sector. That's gonna be good. Um, open borders. The Minjedi have opened their borders now. We no longer see any reason to keep you locked out of our territory. Our borders are open to you again. Right. Um, do I actually have the automatic um, exploration order? Yeah, I do. So I think I'll... I think I'll just send all these ships to go and do some automatic exploration then, eh? Um, let's go. No, wait. No. You gotta... Preparing for ship upgrades. No. Prepare for the ship upgrades and then we'll do other stuff. You're already surveying. Uh, I've got another idle construction ship. That's just something that hasn't been taken. Oh yeah, we have we have now new systems that we can go after. We got that Savannah world. Uh, we got Hortless Haven. And looks like I took the core system as one of my new colonized systems. That is not too bad. Um, let's send that construction ship and build the research stations in there. Um, this place has no natural resources whatsoever, which is kind of shit, I gotta say. I'm gonna send my my invasion transport ships back home. So land your armies on the capital sector, and then we'll we'll see how it goes. Um, now Hortless um, Haven, no, that's not the one I need. I think Oral Jubak is the planet that I get. Yeah, we have Salvation in here, but we also have Natural Beauty, and it's bleak. That's pretty shitty. I guess they had some sort of tech that gave them more food. Hmm. Man, this place is really stupidly built up. <laughs> Incredible. Incredible. It's an alpine world, though, so... Something to be said for that. We're going to upgrade their reassembled ship shelter. And I think we're going to build a spaceport here. So we'll build the projectile-based spaceport. That's going to be all right. And then we'll see what we can do. We've got a lot of population on there and not a lot of stuff that we can do here. I think we might want to build another hydroponics farm. After that one, then we're going to clear out the volcanoes. Do that, do that. And then we'll see where it goes. That is a ruined hydroponics farm. That is uh, certainly um, one part of the problem. Wish that there was something where I, where I could basically push that one up the queue instead of having to take all the other things away again. 
Um, you've been upgraded, so go and do some automatic exploration as well. Whilst we have the chance, we might as well do that. Okay, and since we're out of the war, we are positive in energy credits, even though our fleet is still out um, roaming, roaming space. I wonder, well, I got my fleet here already. I might as well have a look into the Feynov system, where the Unbidden came from. Let's just have a look. Uh, Manjedi, I'm not sure why I see the Manjedi. Oh yeah, because the Meshman Technocracy have a a ship that is surveying those planets. That's interesting. That's very interesting. Um, how strong are you? Equivalent, inferior, equivalent. That's not great. Could be worse though. People are still starving on their planet. Come on, build the spaceport. That's gonna give us three food. That should nearly make up the balance. Yeah, it is, it is nearly there. That's gonna take a while. Constructing that takes a couple of days. Uh, what about our other planets? Vitalis. Yeah, we could upgrade this to the next level. Yep. Okay, let's go for it. And then we're going to upgrade the other buildings. Basically going to make this into uh, one um, planet that produces energy credits. Like all the other planets that we have. Just because we want to actually be able to build up to our fleet limit. We want to keep those ships um, going. And I don't have a battleship queued up anymore. So we have to do that. Um, but I think I have to do that in the next episode. For now, I think I'm just going to end it here. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed it, please leave a like. If you didn't, tell me why in the comments so I can improve. And if you want to see more of the series in the future please consider subscribing to the channel. I do hope that you join me next time. We'll sort of have a look into the Feynov system, see what's going on there. It looks like the Chim Council is rebuilding its ships. Um, there are a couple of them hanging out over here. Yeah, looks like they are rebuilding their fleets. So maybe they've already been uh, fighting the, the unbidden. wonder how that's going to go. But yeah, hope you join me next time. Thanks and bye-bye.